Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the Tanizaro reaction mechanism. What is Tanizaro reaction mechanism? Usually the ketones CH3 if I am taking CH3 C double band O CH3 okay and if I am taking an aldehyde CH3 C double band O H aldehyde I am taking Actually, these two keep these two the that is the compound that is ketone as well as aldehyde does not involve in, in Tanizaro reaction. Why? Because both are having alpha hydrogen. What is it? Alpha hydrogen. This is a functional group. This is the alpha carbon as hydrogen, and this is a functional group. This has alpha carbon. So two alpha carbon. So six alpha hydrogen is there. So usually, what type of molecules are involving in al uh, can is our reaction without alpha hydrogen that is uh, without alpha hydrogen okay the compound should consist or should contain there is no existence of alpha hydrogen that type of molecules are only involving in can is our reaction so can is our reaction means we are to consist we are to understand there is no alpha hydrogen. There is no alpha hydrogen containing molecules are involving in Kanizaro reaction. Let's see the mechanism how it takes place. And uh, this reaction is otherwise called as disproportionation reaction. Why this reaction is called as a disproportionation reaction? Because if, uh, yeah, I'll be explaining you later. Here, uh, if I'm taking alpha hydrogen containing molecule so here uh, these are all alpha hydrogen containing molecule that molecules will not involving in Kanizaro reaction okay are you able to understand students and next thing is is suppose if i need uh, without alpha hydrogen containing molecule say for example h c double band o h so here my functional group is aldehyde there is no even not even having a alpha hydrogen carbon if there is no alpha carbon, there is no alpha hydrogen. Okay, so these type of molecules will involving in Kanizaro reaction. Are you able to understand, students? So the molecules which does not have alpha hydrogen, that kind of molecules only involving in Kanizaro reaction. Let's see the reaction. Suppose here are two same aldehydes are involving in the reaction in presence of a sodium hydroxide and heat. I'll be getting the product like uh, CH3OH, okay, along with H C double band O O N A. So I'll be getting one carbon containing because I have taken two carbon, totally two carbon. So two carbon is getting a single carbon. First carbon is what is the first carbon? My first carbon is what is the first carbon? which will be converted as alcohol another one will be converted as acid salts okay are you able to understand students this is a very very simple mechanism so here we have to understand what kind of products are coming okay so here what kind of product so one product will be alcohol one product will be acid salt so that is what this reaction will be otherwise called as a disproportionation reaction because the aldehyde is getting converted into alcohols this is nothing but a reduction reaction. The aldehyde is getting converted into acid salt. This is nothing but an oxidation reaction. Both oxidation and reduction reaction taking place. That is what this reaction is otherwise called as disproportionation reaction. Are you able to understand students? Let's go to the mechanism. So what is the mechanism? So mechanism is very simple. So here mechanism, reaction mechanism, how it takes place. Let's see. First molecule that is a H C double band O H. This is a formaldehyde or methanol. That methanol which is going to react with our nucleophile. We have we used in a OH. This will be acting as a nucleophile now. The nucleophile always attacks carbon according to our concept. If you don't know the concept, please go and watch my previous video. You will be getting good idea about this. So here uh, the nucleophile will come and attack the carbon. So by that way, I'll be getting a H C. Here it is O minus. Here it is H. Here it is O H. Are you able to understand, students? Are you able to understand? So here the H C O bond. It's nothing but alkoxide. 
ओके हाइड्रोक्सी अल्कोक्साइड आई बी गेटिंग हाइड्रोक्सी अल्कोक्साइड आई बी गेटिंग ओके राइट एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज हियर दच ओ एच विल बी कमिंग अटैच नाउ एंड दिस हेच वॉन्ट्स टू लीव बिकॉज I need to have positive charge here. That is why I can able to form a double bond. Okay, so I have to convert this acid as a product. So it, so it need to form a positive charge here. That means it leaves positive charge. So it leaves as negative charge. This will be leaving as H minus. Okay, and this H minus, the formed H minus will go and attack the next molecule. HC HO because here we have taken two same molecule. The first molecule will involve in the nucleophilic attack. By that way, it form acid as a product with that H minus. This H minus will go and attack now this thing carbon. Okay. Now what will be getting the product? So here a H. So here C. It is O minus. Here one more H is there. One H is attached to the. Okay. Now we are getting two different products. That is, so I'll be writing this product one. This is product one. This is product two. So product one is H C O minus. Not to be. It's a. It form a double bond. So here it is O H. Okay. And one more thing I'll be getting. What is that? H C O minus H. One more H is there. Are you able to understand, student? This is very very simple mechanism now. This wants to move as H plus. This H plus go and attract here. Now what will be getting a product? That is H C double bond O. Here it is O minus along with C H three O H. Are able to understand, students? So here I used N A O H. From that O H minus only attacked. Here it has. Number of Na plus. Now this Na plus will come and attack. Now Na plus will come and attract to this. By that way, I'll be getting a product H C double bond O O N A. I'll be getting acidic salt along with alcohol. This is a product one. This is a product two. That is what I'll be getting a product. One of the product is alcohol, another product is acidic salt. Are able to understand, students? This is very very simple mechanism. So you please go and uh, solve this uh, with um, benzaldehyde because benzaldehyde also doesn't have alpha hydrogen. So how benzaldehyde doesn't have alpha hydrogen? You know that very well. This is the structure of benzaldehyde. Okay, this is the structure of benzaldehyde. C double bond O H is there. Okay, so here, what is the molecular formula? C six H five C H O. This is the molecular formula. Okay, so here one, two, three, four, five, six, C six H five one, two, three, four, five, five is satisfied. What about the C H O? C H O is there. What about one hydrogen? So this carbon doesn't have. Alpha hydrogen. That is what these molecule will involving in the Kanizaro reaction. Are able to understand? The benzaldehyde will also involving in Kanizaro reaction in presence of a sodium hydroxide and heat. I'll be getting the product like this. So here I'll be getting a product that is CH two OH. This is nothing but a benzyl alcohol along with the salt of benzoate. That is benzoic acid salt. That is C O O N A that is sodium benzoate I will be getting are you able to understand student please you can try this mechanism by pausing this video please pause the video and try your own so you will be getting a good idea about this with that same mechanism you can able to do the same thing I will be you will be getting these kind of product like this okay are you able to understand students and next one is Kanizaro reactions wow what about the Cross Kanizaro reaction. The cross Kanizaro reaction. There is a cross Kanizaro reaction. So, what is the cross Kanizaro reaction? This is also very very simple. So, usually uh, Kanizaro reaction. What type of products or what type of reactants are involving in Kanizaro reaction? Only alpha hydrogen. There is no alpha hydrogen in that molecule. That molecule is only involving in. 
cancel reaction so without containing of alpha hydrogen that molecule only involving in cancel reaction likewise if suppose if i am taking benzaldehyde we talk two examples one is the formaldehyde methanol another one is benzaldehyde so if i am taking a benzaldehyde that is a c double bond oh one more thing if i am taking formaldehyde that is a methanol c double bond oh that is a hcho okay if these two molecules are involving in the reaction in presence of a sodium hydroxide and heat it will be acting as a nucleophile i'll be getting a product like this what kind of product i'll be getting i'll be getting a product like this so here h c double band o o n a and one more thing i'll be getting a reduced product ch2 oh so i'll be getting these kind of product like benzyl alcohol and formic acid salt are able to understand students so here uh, this reaction is otherwise called as a disproportionation reaction whether it is a canisoro reaction two without alpha hydrogen containing molecules are involving in that reaction if it is a cross canisoro what is the meaning of that two different molecules two different alpha hydrogen without alpha hydrogen containing molecules are involving in the reaction by the way it forms a product like this here i'll be getting acid salt along with one alcohol so this reaction is otherwise called as a disproportionation reaction why it is a disproportionation because both the oxidation this is a reduction reaction and this is what it is a oxidized reaction oh, sorry this is what it is a oxidized reaction so i'll be getting both uh, oxidized as well as reduction product by the way it will be considered as disproportionation reaction i think so you understand well about the canisoro reaction mechanism thank you so much for watching please go forward to others and uh, try to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching thank you thank you for learning share and like this video